Hello, my name is Evie Dream, and this is a video guide on the Colosseum on Flight Rising. This is an introductory video more than anything else, and will help you to understand the basics of the battle system, what exalting is, and the bare minimum that you would need to get started in leveling your own fodder. Most of this information is from my own knowledge, but I consulted up to 16 different guides to ensure that I had a larger source of information than my own brain. As such, you will occasionally hear me refer to a guide. This is because I got that term or information from that guide. Some terminology. The terminology of the guide follows the basic terminology used throughout FR when referring to the Colosseum. It may vary here and there, but here are the basic terms. Colli, which is short for Colosseum. I will be using the word Colli interchangeably with Colosseum throughout this guide. A venue is a section within the Colosseum. Mobs are the enemies that you face off against. Builds are the different stats and zones that determine what the dragon can do. Fodder are dragons whose sole purpose is to be exalted. Stoned refers to the fact that the dragon has proper battle stones. Statted refers to the fact that the dragon has the properly allocated stats for whatever build that they are. Alright, first things first. What is the Colosseum and why is it important? The Colosseum is a part of Flight Rising where you're able to battle mobs for loot and to gain levels on dragons. You're able to face off against other players in the PvP section, but no one really battles there. As you can see from the one player on the versus leaderboard. You would have a better chance of getting a match with another player if you announced it on the forums than if you just jumped into it. As you can see, I'm not getting a battle. Battling in the, uh, in the Colosseum against enemy mobs is called grinding. It is considered tedious and boring to many and therapeutic to a few. Many people find that watching shows, movies, or listening to podcasts or audiobooks help make it easier. Whatever the case, you'll be wise to find something to watch or listen to while you grind so you don't get burned out. The Colosseum is divided into several areas called venues. Each venue has a different level, just the way the dragons have different levels. The levels determine the minimum level of the dragon that will be required to battle there without getting easily defeated. What does this mean? Well, if I were to take these three right here and bring them to a venue like the Boreal Wood, they would not be fast enough nor strong enough to actually defeat their opponents. However, When it comes to leveling fodder, you can actually ignore this. The reason why is because the level 25 dragon that you're going to be bringing with the fodder is strong enough to withstand the opponents in the, in the higher venue. However, this is only if you have them properly statted and stoned to the required battle build. These two girls here are a variation of the glass cannon build. They have slightly higher speed than other glass cannons, and they have slightly lower attack. However, because there are two of them, they're able to make up for it in the extra turns that they provide for each other. By defeating offensive mobs, that is, mobs that will bite or scratch immediately, they're able to avoid getting damaged right away. This is an example of leveling one fodder in the, in the kelp beds with these two dragons. It doesn't take that long. In order to get to level 6, it really only takes about 5 minutes with these two dragons. 
The basic controls of the Colosseum, as you probably heard, if you could hear my mouse, is clicking. Clicking and holding a dragon in the the team choosing yeah, organized party page allows you to click and drag dragons into the party slots. The dragon on the left goes first if they're fast enough. Dragon in the middle goes second. Dragon on the right goes third. What do I mean if they're fast enough? Well, Dusk and Blanco have higher quick than Nova, which means they would go before Nova even though he is first in line. It is recommended that the dragon in the first slot be either a fodder or any other dragon that is equal to the two here. If you're using a mage, it is recommended that you put your mage in the first slot and that the mage has at least one ambush stone to allow your physical attackers to have all of their turns. Alrighty, let's talk about the venues. Oops, gotta have at least a dragon here. Now, that's another thing that I want to mention. You cannot access any other parts of the Colosseum unless you have a dragon in the party. If you don't have a dragon in the party, you cannot click on any of these. The Colosseum is, div is divided into 16 venues of various levels, from 1 to 25. The higher level venues, from the arena down to the Golem Workshop, all have a boss in them. Those enemies have far more health and speed than regular opponents, and familiar drops from them are much rarer than that of other mobs. Every time you level your dragons, you get stat points. The stat points are assigned to each of the various stats in order to give your dragon higher strength, higher quickness, or higher intellect. Once a stat has been confirmed on a dragon, you cannot change it unless you have a tincture of dissolution. If you click on the dragon here, it's an invisible box about this big right here. Like that, but it's not that low. An invisible box about here. You'll see the symbol for using the tincture of dissolution. You have to have it available in your horde in order to click this. As you can see, I do not have one. It resets the dragon stats down to five, including breed bonuses. Every dragon breed has a certain number of bonuses. Tinctures of dissolution are recommended only for dragons that you're leveling either to 17 or 25 or etc. etc. Basically, any dragon that's not fodder that you are leveling, it's recommended that you use a tincture of dissolution in order to have the proper, the properly allocated stats. 